Hey, how's it going YouTube? So today we are unboxing this LED lamp. It's a touch control. And let's see what you can see here. It has the Qi uh, wireless charging. It's powered by USB. Comes with adapter, which is good. Uh, it's color fixing, which I guess it just means there's d different colors and of lighting. And as you can see here, it has uh, three step of lights, which is the 4500K, um, 6000K and, and 3000K and then there's a lot of different degree of how brightness it is and it puts out between 40 to 420 lumens not bad as you can see there's a lot of different ones on Amazon um, I went with this one because it has you know the built-in clock and temperature date and you know month the day month um, I just thought that was just it's useful for me because this this will be at my work desk, right? So at a quick glance, I'll be able to just see what time and what the day is. And as you can see, it's all just touch base. So you just touch. Here's the back. And unlike some of the other ones on Amazon, this one, once the head's open, it actually pivots. I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, some of them would only open up and, and that's it, right? So b being able to pivot would be able to kind of bring light to where you actually need it. Okay. Um, this one comes in either black or white. And I went with the black. I mean, yeah, with the black. I just, I mean, I wanted to add some color to my desk, but I figured in the long run, black is safer for me. So this is a security tab to make sure you got a brand new unopened box, which is good. Okay, now let's unbox this here. This thing prides of it being small and easy to, to bring around just in case you do want to. And as you can see, it's very small and light and easy to move around. Okay. Manual. Okay, put it here. Put that to the side over there. Okay, in this box we have power supply. Okay, cool. Put that over here. Let's see here. Here's the manual. You can pause if you want to see anything. Technicals. Just put a simple plug in. Battery replacement. Oh, so the clock itself actually runs on its own battery. Interesting. Okay. There's the Qi charger and of course there are buttons at the bottom. This talks about the pivoting, opening and closing, and how you could charge uh, something uh, through the USB port if you need it. And just a warranty card. All right, here we go. So, so I'll open the base, take the plastic. And here comes the top. You actually have to open this. And slide out. So just give you a quick look here. Here's the LED part. Top part is kind of a nice sheen plastic. Almost kind of have kind of like that leather look. Okay, so I'll remove this so that we can have the clock. Wow, that's a pretty good introduction, huh? Yeah, so this whole thing has uh, like, a, like a leather finish. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, this is just a little sticker to let you know that has Qi charging. Oh, no, that stays there. Oh, seriously? Okay. Well, then let me push that back into place. Yeah, I thought it was just a sticker just to let you know, but 
actually that stays there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and open the cable and just plug this in and let you see. Well, so the clock runs on its own battery, which I don't know, that, that was a little bit, I didn't really expect that, right? I thought I would, all this would be just all together <laughs> running off the power supply. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, if the power goes out, I guess I, I'll always have a clock there. But I was just hoping, you know, the clock would just run by itself. So the good part is the charging base is not too big, not too fat. So it, it won't take up a lot of room. So that's one positive thing there. So let me just plug this in real quick. Plug it to my base here. Bring up the cord. Up around. And let's plug this into the back. I'll just show you real quick. So here's the little power port and a USB port. Okay, so that's plugged in. Uh, let me see how I can angle this for you out here. Okay, well, I'll just do it like this, freehanded. So, here's the power button. Okay, um, hold on, it's plugged into my power base here. Um, okay, let me switch it to a different power. Shit. Sorry, because my power base that I'm using by my desk is actually a smart power base. So I was able to turn off whenever I'm not using it. Um, which I had to use my voice command to turn it on, but I don't feel like I'm messing that right now. So I just plugged it into a different power base. But as you see, interesting. So when I plugged it in, this turns on automatically. So what I'm thinking is this actually does run with the power from the the base itself, but it has a battery in the back to you know keep track. If you lose power, then you don't lose the data of the dates and and time. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. And as you see, this actually lights up here, and it's kind of a like a rubberish silicone type material, so it kind of helps keeps the phone from moving once you do put something on it. Um, I guess a quick test here is my AirPods. So let's put that right there. Bam. As you see, it charges. And it actually gives you a green light to notify you that it's being charged. That's cool. Okay, take it off. And green light's gone. Okay, so now let's do the uh, power on. Ooh, look at that. See, that's the different power modes. Here, I'll put this here so you can kind of see the light difference here. It's kind of a cool white. It's no more warm. All right. And as you can see, here's the light here, right? And I'm turning it off. Just simply touching that power button. Turn it on. So everything's touch sensitive, which I like. And then you could dim it. You just tap it. Then here's the different color modes again. All right. So the build quality, I would say, is pretty good. Um, all the seams are nice and flush. There's not, nothing sticking out to, to hurt your fingers. The cool thing is even it has like kind of like almost like a stitching uh, pattern. So that does have a roughness to it. But everything else has that nice little leather finish. And again, here's the back uh, where you can set your clock. And here's the clock here. I didn't show you already. I don't have to say it, but you know, here's the time, AM, PM, the date, the month. And actually has the date to tell you, hey, today's Thursday or whatever. And of course, right now, temperature's on Celsius, so I'll have to switch that over in a little bit. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. As, you, as I already explained, it comes with the Qi wireless charging. And now, charge your phone, AirPods, you know, whatever you want. 
Again, here's the pivoting head. It actually pivots, which I think that's one of the selling features of this one versus the, the older models that didn't have a pivoting head. And so let's see, I could turn it off. And then I fold this there. So when I fold it, the clock still stays on. And then if you fold down for the compact, the storage, I guess that light just stays on. <laughs> the clock doesn't turn off. And everything still works, even though it's closed. I can still turn on light if I want to. Hmm. I mean, I do kind of wish maybe the clock turns off every once in a while, maybe. Because, you know, at night, I don't really want this lighting up my whole room. I'll have to see if it has like a dimming feature. But I'll leave that in the description itself. Okay. So again, this is the LED uh, touch control lamp with the Qi wireless charging. It's foldable, it's portable, as you can see. Here it is, folded up. Just in case you want to bring it anywhere. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. You know, the bottom has the rubber feet, which is good. Soft rubber feet. It has a little thing here. I'm not going to open it, but it looks like almost like you put batteries here, but this one's running off power, so you don't need that. And from what I can see, it doesn't have a built-in like battery power supply. So if I unplug this, and of course it will not work. There's no base battery inside to charge, you know, hold a charge or anything. But that's not what the purpose of this would be for anyways, right? All right. I hope you like this. Um, leave any comments or questions below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.